Hello community! Today we are talking about Fuju. Fuju Persimmons gave the name to a new LLM Fuju 8B, a new multimodal decoder only transformer. Let's have a look at this new model. So we go to Hugging Face, we go to the company page, we see this is Adapt AI Labs. And as you can see, they have one space running for Fuji Multimodal. We will have a look in a second. And they have three models. The Persimmon model, nine, nine days ago. And the Fuji 8B model updated 12 hours ago. This is it. This is what we're going to have a look at. So let's try out it first before we try to understand the theoretical and unique features of this LLM. Just a word of caution, they say, hey, because this is a raw model release, we have not added further any instruction tuning, any post-processing or sampling strategies to control for undesirable outputs. So remember, you have to take care. So they say, hey, you as a user should expect to have to fine tune the model further for your specific use case. They just provide you with the raw the base model. Great. And here we go with the official Fuju multimodal demo. I upload the thumbnail, say, hey, describe the image. And Fuju comes back and tells me, hey, the logo for Neptune LLM is visible on the blue background. Really nice. Then I take this image and I say, describe this image. So let's see what comes out now. 8 billion parameter mom. Image features a sunflower field, numerous sunflower, full bloom, various position, creating a beautiful scene. Isn't this beautiful? And if I ask, identify all objects in this image, what objects can you identify? I get back several sunflowers blooming, surrounded by green leaves, facing the sun, various position, position closer to the foreground than others. Great. Let's go with a synthetic image. What objects can you identify in this clip drop? A large, colorful, artistic cube-shaped object in the middle of a desert landscape, backdrop of the desert, mountains, and sand. Oops, that's cut off. Okay, so now there's something missing now. Okay, we are limited to, I don't know, 100 token. Okay, let's go with this. Anything else we can have? Hyperparameter? No, nothing. What about this? What objects can you identify in this image? A woman sitting down, wearing a black shirt and stripped pants, posing for the camera, gaze is directed towards the camera. There's a handbag placed near her. Uh, no, there's no handbag placed near her. Just because women have handbags, it's not always that they have handbags. <laughs> and I say, hey, describe the mood of this image. Comes back, young blonde woman sitting with a hand on her chin, looking thoughtful. Person, she is deep in thoughts, contemplating something, a sense of calmness and contemplation. Let's go to a synthetic image. Let's see what it can do here. Processing. Yes, it's really fast. What colors are the woman's eyes? And the woman's eyes are blue. Uh, okay, there's something wrong here. Okay. Never mind. Describe all the objects. Here we go. Woman wearing a futuristic outfit, standing in a pool of water, wearing a silver bodysuit, robotic arm attached to her chest, appears to be submerged in the water, possibly posing. Nice, real nice. And this one, now we're in image captioning, comes back and tells us an aerial view of a building surrounded by trees. Okay, what about this one? Let's see? An industrial machine shop with glass walls. Yes, for a synthetic image, not bad. And can it recognize a maze? Let's have a look. An architectural model of a maze. Really nice. So now we have to identify why we have no research paper, not even an archive preprint. Who or what is the team, or the team structure behind Fuju? Why now? And what is here the intention of this model? Why suddenly we have this publication? So let's have a deep dive and have a look at the intelligence of the system. So let's have an identification. Where are we? The company is called Adapt. Introducing Adapt. So this is a product. So company and product name identical, April 2022. 
ADAPT is a machine learning research and product lab. Ah, building general intelligence by enabling people and computers to work together creatively. Great. Then September 2022, Act 1, Transformer for Actions. Okay. Then January 23, Flash Attention. Yes, this is nice. Then March 23, we raised $350 million as a startup company in our Series B. Very nice. September 23, we are open sourcing Persimmon 8B. Okay. September, we have some problems. We learn from the errors occurring during the large training runs. Great. And here we are now, October 17, Fuju 8B. We open source Fuju 8B, a small version of the multimodal model that powers our product. So a very nice marketing initiative to draw attention to this company, to draw attention to join the waitlist, be the first to try out Adapt coming soon. Great. So now we know where we are. We know that this is a company from April 2022, $350 million. They have the money to do some nice LLMs or multimodal LLMs for specific here AI agent interaction. So let's have a look in detail at their project. Great. Now, from their homepage, from Adapt, Fuju, Transformer, Decoder, we now see here very clearly that Fuju is a very simple architecture. As you can see, a vanilla only, decoder only transformer with no image encoder. And what they do, they take here an image, they slice it up in patches, and the image patches are linearly projected directly in the transformer, bypassing the embedding lookup. And this is simply now, you have here the image patches passed along here with our textual token structure. So as you see, Fuji Vanilla Decoder only transformer and adapt treat to Fuji Transformer Decoder like an image transformer. So no pooling, no causal attention, nothing at all. So what are the key issues? What is the, the great about this thing? I think great is that there is an architectural simplicity. So simplifies the architecture, eliminating the need for a separate image encoder. Opting here for this decoder only model has benefits in terms of interpretability and computational efficiencies, uh, of course. Now, second thing is here, the image resolution. We can handle images of arbitrary resolution by directly feeding those image patches into the transformer layer, which is great. And then we treat, as I showed you, text and image patches as similar input patterns. Fujo sidesteps the need for a separate training regimen for each modality. So this, of course, simplifies the gradient optimization landscape, which is an advantage when scaling the model, given its reduced computational complexity. This is great. Now, I do have, reading here just the marketing material, some technical questions. Now, the projection of those image patches, you know, the simplicity is appealing, but I think you lose quite a lot of the specialized feature extraction capabilities that dedicated convolutional layers or other encoding strategy might offer. How do you cope with this? When you remove image-specific positional encoding and you utilize here the textual positional encoding, how effective is this strategy in capturing here the spatial relations that are inherent to the image data when you slice up this image. So I think this is an empirical question where we just have to look at the performance of the system, and we will do this in a second. And of course, the modalities, if you use or if you treat all modalities the same to have a unified architecture, but you know what? That the underlying data modality is this text and image they have a different characteristic. The complexity and semantics embedded in a text sequence versus an image patch can be really, really different. 
So how does Fuji does this here on a normalization level? Does it use attention masking techniques here to balance the attribution here of each modality? How is this happening in training and inference? So we are missing out here, of course, here the complete research, the complete description. But I understand this is just a marketing release here to make us interested in this company and the upcoming products of this company. But looking just at what they tell us here in the marketing material, uh, this has three questions, I think, come up immediately. And why not have a look? And they have here also on spaces here available and a demonstration and let's explore exactly this feature with an empirical demonstration of fuju at b so we go back to fuju spaces i upload here from the fuju paper here the benchmark data and i say describe the image and i get not applicable so i say okay how is fuju doing in this comparison can it does some OCR extraction from this table? No, nothing at all. Okay. Uh, last one, what I do, what are the data of the entry? You see here we have the future data entry. Can it extract here the numerical data from this image? It's running, it's running, yes. And still running and not applicable. Okay, we do not have to positional encoding, okay? So have a look yourself. This is a new model, Fuju 8B. Here you have the Hugging Face model card. This is a raw version. This has not been fine-tuned to anything. Go out, exploit yourself. Maybe it is applicable for your specific use case.